Why did Jesus have to die? We read the scriptures from Romans uh, 3, 21 to 26. In there, there were two key words. And remember I said, underline those. Redemption, propitiation. In this segment and the next, I want to explain those two concepts. First, the word redemption. The word redemption is a commercial term. It was a term used in the marketplace and often in the slave market. And there's several connotations to the word redemption in God's New Testament. The first simply means to buy out of the slave market. When you redeem someone, you buy them out of the slave market. The second one is an emphasis on the price you pay. Uh, in other words, not so much buying them out, it's the price that you pay. But the third connotation of this word as it's used in the New Testament is that the price you pay to buy a slave out of the market is so great that price that slave can never ever again be sold into a, being a slave. Well, that's the way it's used here. In other words, the price is so great that when God purchased us out of the slave market of sin, we never, ever again need to be sold back into it. The price is so great. Now picture with me. Redemption is Christ's work on the cross manward. You got that now? It's Christ working the cross towards us. He is paying a price so great through his death to buy us out of the slave market of sin that never again do we need to be sold in to sin. But the question is, what does propitiation mean? 